Oh, thank you. Thank you, it's uh, nice here, isn't it? I'm only from Scotty Road, and uh, I'm afraid you're very humble tonight. I've been introduced on by one of the royal family. That's <laughs> nice, because it doesn't matter what part of the country from, you have a rough pub, don't you? Love them rough pubs. Was it Monday the other night? Kate Haley was a stewardess. <laughs> she had a pig on the bar as an air freshener. <laughs> Went the wrong night, quiz night. The first question was, who are you looking at? <laughs> the prize is an alibi for a fortnight. <laughs> I was watching a fight and a pool match broke out. What about the little scouts of water who's a fishing chip shop? 20 pound salmon under his arm. He went, hey lad, did you do fish cakes? He went, yeah. He said, can you do one for Thursday? It's his birthday. <laughs> what about the Irish fellow went for the job and thought he walked in and excuse me, have you filled the questionnaire in? And he went out and battered the doorman. <laughs> Not only do kids break up for holidays, because let's face it, kids are sport nowadays, aren't they? They break up for holidays now, six weeks. They go away for three weeks now, Disneyland, Florida. Fly drive. All over Europe. Doesn't matter what part of the country you're from, that was your holidays years ago, wasn't it? One day a year. And they got battered. <laughs> you talk about violence on the telly now. He'd be walking out, all he could hear all day was, Do you wanna go home? <laughs> Do you think I made the money? <laughs> I brought you here, what more do you want? He used to come home like a orangutan, one arm and another. <laughs> and the stupid things your mother used to say to you, she used to say to you, if you go missing again, I'll take it home. <laughs> Shut your mouth and eat your dinner. <laughs> the all-time classic. Have you seen Ian Star in your ears? There was a fella on our way the other week when we had that good weather, a fella around our way, he was in the garden, nine hours, woke up like that, like a lobster, couldn't walk like that. Next morning he went into the doctor's like that. The doctor went, here, a bottle of calamine lotion and a Viagra, he went, hang on, I know what the lotion's for, what's the Viagra for, he went, keep the sheets off you. No, but like you said, it doesn't matter what part of the country from, you have little day trips. You used to have one in Liverpool called, it's out to the island, man. You used to leave Liverpool nine o'clock Saturday morning on the ferry. Get the island, man, one o'clock in the afternoon, and he had all day then, midnight boat back. Sort of like that. 34 scouts at nine o'clock Saturday morning. As soon as the boat pulls away, the bar opens. And they're in the bar, they're going... <laughs> One o'clock in the afternoon, they're pulling the Alamander log over. <laughs> the organizers go, don't forget now, that's 12 o'clock boat back to us, Paul Westcott. <laughs> you look after yourself. <laughs> 20 to 12, they're going, only up Charlie, going to Mr. Spotty, lad. Some fancy walking home for a bit. <laughs> And this fella's by the gangplank, he's going, oh. Where are you from, lad? You went, oh. Where are you from, lad? Where are you went, Liverpool. He went, get on. Five o'clock in the morning, pull into the pair head. 
These two fellas are sober, and this fella's still rotten drunk. And he went to his mate, do you know him? He went, no, he said, look at the state of him. You better take him home. Where does he live? He went, here's an envelope here. Seven o'clock in the morning, they're knocking on this fella's door. And he's in the middle going, ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Much obliged. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> And the woman next door came out and said, um, you'll get down to there, they're gone the island, man, for two weeks. 